morning class welcome to today's lesson in our previous lesson we learned something on the solution to trigonometric equations for today we'll be learning something on trigonometric ratios for 30 degrees 60 degrees and 45 degrees when we talk of trigonometric ratios for angle 30, 60, and 45. There are special angles that we use in trig ratios. And so, we'll be using a collateral triangle to illustrate the meaning of the trigonometric ratios for angle 30 degrees, 60, and 45 degrees. And so, the topic will be trigonometric ratios for 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 45 degrees. Now before we start, we will start from 30 degrees and 60 degrees. So I'll draw an equilateral triangle with size 2 units each. So this is my equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle has all its angles being equal or a size being equal. So I will take two units for each side. So I'll name it A, B, and C. I'll draw a perpendicular line from C to line AB. It will form a right angled triangle. And so, since all the sides are two units, line AC will be two, BC will also be two, and since I have drawn a perpendicular line to join line AB, each side will be one unit each. So I'll write 30 degrees as an angle here. Then the base where we have A and B, you can, I can write 60 in any of the sides, which is A or B. So I'll write my 60 degrees also here. Now we have one figure by divided into two. So it is two in one. So we're going to have, I will take one side of this triangle. So I will take triangle A, I will name here O, and C. We have here to be two, one. Now I want us to find the other side, which is the perpendicular height. Now we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. We have line OA as 1, AC, which represents the hypotenuse as 2. So line AC squared will be equal to line OA squared plus line OC squared. So in place of AC, I'll write 2. On the line we have 2, so 2 raised to the power 2 will be equal to OA is also 1, so I'll write 1 to the power 2 plus line OC squared. Now, 2 raised to the power 2 is 4, equal to square 1 raised to the power 2 will give us 1 plus line OC squared. You group like it. You transpose the one to the other end to join the four. So we have four minus one equal to line O C squared. Four minus one will give us three equal to line O C. We are making O C the subject. So what you can do is that you square root both sides. So the square will cancel the root, leaving O C equal to square root of 3. 
So I'll name line OC as square root of Fred. Now let's come back to sine 30, well, the angles we have there, 30 degrees and 60 degrees for sine, cos, and tan. So first one, I will take sine 30. Sine 30 degrees. And sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. That is the formulas we learned earlier on in the other lessons. Now, what you do here is that sine 30 is here. So this becomes the opposite. We have this as the hypotenuse. So sine 30 will give us 1 over 2. When you press the calculator, it will still give you 1 over 2. Next one will be 2, which is cos. Cos 30. Cos 30 will also give us... Now, you can take a clue from the complementary angles because cos 30 and the complementary angles will give us sine 60. So here, cos 30 line OC is adjacent and then AC will also give us 2, which is the hypotenuse. So cos 30 will be square root of 2 over square root of 3, rather, over 2. That is cos 30. The second one, or the third one, will be tan. Tan 30 degrees. Now tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. From our diagram here, this side is opposite and this side is adjacent. So it will be 1 over root 2 or root 3. So you have 1 over root 3. Now anytime you have a radical sign as a denominator, we have to remove the radical sign. So what you do is that you rationalize the denominator, meaning that you multiply the square root of 3 by the numerator. At the same time, you multiply the square root of 3 by itself. So it will be multiplied by 3, square root of 3 over root 3. And that will give us 1 multiplied with 3 will give us root 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 will give us 3. So therefore, tan 30 is square root of 3 over 3. Now you can look for angles for 60. So I'll continue from here 4. Now I'll start with sine 60 degrees. Since we said that under complementary angles, cos 30 is the same as sine 60, so cos 30 and sine 60 will add up to 90 degrees. So cos 60 will be square root of 3 over 2. Fourth one, cos 60. You can still apply the complementary angle. So cos 60 will also give us 1 over 2. The fifth one will be tan. Tan 60 will be equal to tan S opposite over adjacent. So here is our 60. Line OC becomes our opposite and line OA becomes our adjacent. So it will be square root of 3 over 1 for tan 60. So square root of 3 over 1 is the same as root root 3. So these are what you call special angles under trigonometric ratios. We can do the same thing for angle 45. I can also draw another triangle to represent or to illustrate and to explain the angle for 45 degrees. I will draw my right angled triangle for 45. Now I will take one unit on each side. I will name it A, B, and C. 
So I name here one unit and this one to one unit. Now to apply the Pythagoras theorem, one square plus one square will give us one. That is one square is one. One square is also one. So one plus one is two. Since we are finding the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse square will be equal to the square root of what? The two. So here becomes square root of what? Two. I can write the 45 here or at this side. So you write the ratio for each of the sine, cos, and the tan. So first one will be sine 45 degrees. And sine is equal to opposite over adjacent. So if I take the angle at B, line AC will be opposite. Then the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, will also be BC. 45 will be 1, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse, square root of 2. So 1 over square root of 2. Now, as I said earlier on, anytime you have a radical sign as a denominator, we have to remove it. So what we do is that we rationalize it. We multiply the square root of 2 by the numerator 1 and multiply by its solve. So 1 times root 2 will give us root 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 will give us 2. So sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. You go to the next one, which is cos. So cos 45 we we'll come back to the diagram. We take 45 at B. Line AC is opposite. Line AB is adjacent. And BC is hypotenuse. So since here is adjacent, we know that cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And so it will be 1, which is the adjacent over square root of 2. And that will be equal to since we have the denominator having a radical sign. We have to rationalize it to remove the square root. So we multiply by root 2 over root 2. And that will give us square root of 2 over 2. Because 45 and sine 45 add up to 90. So they are all the same under complementary angles. The third one will be tan. Tan 45 will be equal to tan is opposite over adjacent. And taking the angle at B, 45, line AC is opposite and line AB is adjacent. So tan becomes 1 over 1. 1 over 1 is the same as 1. So tan 45 is 1. These are the ratios we have under trigonometric ratios for angle 30 degrees, 60 and 45. So there's no need for you to use calculator when giving questions under trigonometric ratios. So we take an example to see if we can remember the angles we just went through. So let's take our first example. So in our first example will be if x equal to tan 30 degrees. and y equal to tan 45 degrees. Find the value of x plus y over 1 minus x, y. So for this one, we are going to apply the special angles. So first of all, what you do is that we have been given x, which is equal to tan 30 degrees. Now tan 30 degrees, when you go back to the special angles we proved, we have tan 30 as square root of 3 over 3. That is our tan 30, square root of 3 over 3. So in place of tan 30, we can substitute the square root of 3 over 3. 
So in our solution, x plus y over 1 minus xy will be equal to x, what is tan 30 degrees plus y, which is also tan 45. And 45 degrees all over 1 minus tan 30 degrees tan 45 degrees and this implies that tan 30 from our special angles is square root of 3 over 3 plus tan 45 from our special angles gave us 1. So you write 1 in place of tan 45. All over 1 minus tan 30 square root of 3 over 3 times tan 45 will give us 1. Of 3 over 3 plus 1. Now, this sign we have here is the same as the division sign. And so, after writing square root of 3 over 3 plus 1, you can put it in brackets divided by open brackets 1, then square root of 3 over 3 multiplied by 1 is the same as square root of 3 over 3. There is minus sign multiplying the numbers in the brackets. So the minus sign will affect the square root of 3 over 3. So minus 3 over square root of 3 over 3. You find LCM from here. What is 3? 3 goes into 3 is 1. 1 times root 3 is square root of 3 plus every whole number is over 1. So 1 will be over 1. 1 goes into 3 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Divided by, do the same thing for this one, LCM is 3. 1 is a whole number, so it is over 1. 1 goes into 3 is 3. 3 times 1 will give us 3 minus 3 goes into 3 is 1. 1 times root 3 is root 3. And so, we are having square root of 3 plus 3 over 3 divided by 3 minus square root of 3 over 3. Now to simplify further, we can also say that square root of 3 over 3 plus 3. We multiply, we want to change the sign to multiplication. So we have to reciprocate 3 minus square root of 3 over 3, meaning that we can't 3 over 3 minus square root of 3 so that this 3 will cancel this 3 leaving square root of 3 plus 3 times 3 minus square root of 3 and so we we'll continue by multiplying because we have square root of 3 plus 3 multiplying this one so you can introduce brackets on each one so root 3 will multiply 3. There is a coefficient attached to the root. So 1 will multiply 3 will give us 3 root 3. Then square root of 3 multiply square root of minus 3, which will be 3. That is for square root of 3. Then move on to the next one, which is 3. 3 multiplying 3 will give us plus 9. Then 3 will multiply minus square root of 3 which is minus 3 root 3. And so we look at this very carefully. We can do cancellation. We have 3 root 3, which is positive, And then we also have minus 3 root 3, negative. So this will cancel that, leaving minus 3 plus 9. Minus 3 plus 9 will give us 6. And that is the answer for our first example. I know 
So we are just applying the trade ratio sine 30 